Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is showing someone who is very successful, very stable. Um, this is someone who's very down to earth as well. So th this is someone who's very high value. So if you are being seen in this way, someone could be thinking very, very highly of you. You have so much respect from this person. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Empress, Venus Energy, and the World Card, Fixed Sign Energy. So you could be leaving one thing behind to um, in, enter into some sort of new cycle. Um, the World Card is a card of completion, closure, wrapping something up here. Yeah. And we do have two cards here. We've got the Divine Feminine with the Empress here, which is a card showing some sort of seeds have been planted. There's potential for something to really blossom into something successful here with some effort and work because the Eight of Pentacles does show an energy of really focusing on the details and taking your time with something. I do see whoever you're connecting to is someone who is quite practical and they may want to move slowly here but it's like with is with deliberateness there's this desire to not rush into things but rather to nurture this connection and to build something more promising and you could be currently you know coming out of some sort of path cycle and um there is a message here about needing to um take your time with this one there's a lot of grounded energy as well with the empress and the queen of pentacles here um but this is definitely a connection where i'm seeing your collect you're connecting here with someone who's willing to really um, work hard and nurture the connection and meet you halfway. This is a connection that has the potential to be, you know, a very long-term one. So let's clarify these cards, Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a kind of some sort of communication coming towards you. Someone could be reaching out. Um, there could be some sort of exciting adventure here, wanting to really start things. Again, we're seeing starting off small, starting slow, um, very slow, but consistent progress here. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Eight of Swords, Air Energy, Five of Pentacles in the Reverse, Earth energy and the Emperor, Aries energy. So we have divine counterparts. We have the Empress and the Emperor here. So there's something you're leaving behind, something you're freeing yourself from. The Five of Pentacles does show you were in a situation where you may have been made to feel less than or like someone could have rejected you or made you feel like you were not good enough or there's just some sort of... Um, uh, an unfulfilling situation where you weren't really seeing yourself clearly because we have the eight of swords there which is you know she's blindfolded she's she's stuck she thinks she's stuck and it's like you're awakening to the fact that you're not stuck yet and there's this energy of liberating yourself and instead moving towards something that is more in alignment with you your divine counterpart here with the emperor and the empress this is someone who is um very complementary because we're seeing divine feminine and divine masculine so whatever this next connection is, it may be slow to start or slow to move forward or progress, but it is one that does look like it will be very successful, one that will be very solid and grounded and can even yield a lot of abundance because we have this Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. This could be someone you work with or you create something that will really be successful in this lifetime. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Aries. So 
we have emotions are running high super moon okay so we have the world card which is a card of closure and we have the page of wands so you could be hearing from someone and whatever this communication you're getting it may make you feel emotional but it may also give you closure there's an energy of closing a door so that something new can come in um, but there's it's still going to be quite an emotional transition but i do see it's ultimately redirecting you towards something that's more beneficial to you okay so i'm gonna put another card for you um aries So we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there's something here you're seeing more clearly now. With the Eight of Swords, you know, it's like in the past, you may have not really been seeing these red flags, but because it's in the reverse now, it's like you're seeing something very clearly and this is allowing you to be able to uh, kind of shut the door on something that no longer serves you. Okay, so I'm gonna plot another card for you, Aries. So we have destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves so with the eight of swords in the reverse it's like you felt trapped in something and it's like you're taking back your power now you are taking control of the situation and you are um you know it's like there's just this energy of wrapping up a cycle that could have made left you feeling powerless or like you were at the mercy of someone else okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries